Yeah, so, hi, one person watching this on YouTube. I'm reading this page on P2B Speaking, going over the conflicts between M. Dio and Gregor's T. And so, the, the grammar mistakes here in this message are great, and that's where I am. So, yeah, so, exploit warning. Uh, there'll be a link in the description if you guys want to read this. But, Cubix is here with me. Say hi, Cubix. Hi, cu hi, Cubix. Ah, great. Okay, so, exploit warning. Ticker's construct adds functionality, which causes many blocks to duplicate drops when, when being hit by a tool, which has LUT and auto smelt on it. Those blocks include stone, potatoes, wood, cacti, and netherrack, for example. M. Dio horribly failed to realize that his fortunate auto smelt function dupes anything what can be smolten. <laughs> not just ores. <laughs> <laughs> what can be smolten is great. Yeah. Uh, not just ores, what would be understandable as fortune is designed to work on ores only. Anything. I strongly recommend you to bug M. Dio until he fix it, fixed his berserking exploit <laughs> before it gets Bugging more him. ridiculous than this message. And tell him to stop telling everyone that it's my fault, as it is not. He introduced it without even looking at vanilla smelting recipes, so he can't paint. Uh, so he can't point at me just for adding some required smelting recipes. Sincerely, Gregorius Technicus. To disable this message, bug M. Dio until he fixes it the proper way. Uh, otherwise, I will very likely drown you with this text forever. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, so I, I got no clue if it's just a bad transcription because this is really old. This is from 2013. Or maybe Greg Gregorius just doesn't speak English as like oh. his native language. And I'm not gonna make fun of him for it, obviously, but I just think it's funny how the grammar is is great to read. But yeah, so whether the I, issue I was just... caused by M Dio or Gregorius T was disputed on both sides. Greg Technic users blamed M Dio, whereas Tinker's users blamed Gregorius T. Eventually, M Dio added a config option that prevented them from coexisting on a single tool, which Greg considered enough to cease the conflict. I think that was around up until like the recent versions of Tinker's. Uh, which is cool. Yeah. We'll actually go check because I'm on the 118 version and I I think I might have gotten rid of it, but I could be wrong. I'm actually on the site. Uh, Greg Tech just doesn't exist anymore. So. Yeah, it's not around Shame. anymore. But we got some history here. Yeah, so here, however, this set the tone for future conflicts. Large walls of text disputing each other's changes. Wood, West, wood recipe crash. A month or two later, one of the final Greg Tech versions to run on Minecraft 147 included a change to the vanilla Minecraft wood to planks and sticks recipes, having the numbers of sticks produced in the output. Um, and the intent was to uh, was that players would use a saw to get the full yield. I think it would make like wood would turn into I think like two planks instead of four, which was really annoying. And I think sticks also made two. Uh, it, it got really irritating, and so you were supposed to use a saw from Initial Craft to get the full yield. But there was a configuration oh, yeah. line, uh, B would need saw for planks, which would disable the change. However, Endio chose to add code, which overwrote these recipe changes after the server was launched. <laughs> Gregor's oh, team took this as a declaration of war and added a check that would wait five seconds after the server started and check a set of recipes. If the recipes have been changed, the code stopped the server. Man's out here crashing servers because of petty recipe changes. Like, this recipe is really stupid, of course, but come on. That's just petty, Greg. Bruh, okay. <laughs> so the result of this was a 10-hour flame war ending after M. Dyer requested a ceasefire, and both of them removed their offending code. <laughs> Greg moment. <laughs> I think the best part of this is uh, I'm going to say I was around at least for a little bit during this. I just never knew about it until I think I just found this page randomly because it got mentioned on another page on the wiki. It was great. <laughs> However, M. Dio then re-edited his recipe of writing code with its own config file and Greg reissued him a pumpkin of shame in response, which does not have a wiki link and that makes me very sad. Like it links, but the page doesn't exist. The result yeah. of this was a five-day flame war between Greg supporters and a collection of people who opposed what Greg had done. And we got, like, three more. Oh, here we go. Log spam and recipe unloading. No, don't go back and search for R by accident. All right, midway through the life of Minecraft 1.5, uh, a third conflict arose. During the previous conflict, Greg stated that other modders were allowed to modify Greg tech functionality as long as it is constructive and reasonable in some way and doesn't intentionally break things. That's a direct quote from him. There's even a little reference for it. Additionally, Greg Tech uses the Forge or Dictionary to build its recipes and allow cross-mod compatibility and components, which is great. Every mod should do that, like, all the time. It's great. Uh, great. However, Gregor's T also used client server startup logs to attempt to enforce a standard in or dictionary item naming. You get shape material, ore copper, stick copper, and ingot copper, which actually are the ones that they use for a while. I don't know what shape material is for, though, but, like, uh, ingots and ores will always be, like, ore material and ingot material and so on and created several log entry lines whenever an item did not follow that convention 
and Dio became annoyed with people reporting these bugs and created the class Peace of Mind Java, which contained one functional line, paraphrased, that uh, Minecraft Forge unregistered G GT or dictionary handler, and that caused the log messages to stop. But it also caused no Greg, it also caused every Greg Tech block to just not have recipes. That's great. And so after another several hours of argument, this file moved to an optional plugin in the main TIC mod file, and NDIO requested that all TIC items be blacklisted from Greg Tech or dictionary handling, and Greg complied, and that incompatibility remained in place for over a year. That is the stupidest, most pettiest thing I've ever heard, honestly. Like, bruh. Yeah, come on, MDIO, you made a really cool mod that everyone loves. Why are you being petty with Greg? Of course, it was like a decade ago now, so they've probably gotten over it. I think both of them actually quit modding, but I'm not sure. And so, Un start a message. Oh, sorry, what were you saying? Sorry, un unironically, I've never I've never played Greg Tech, but Greg Tech is a pretty cool mod, at least Greg Tech Community Edition. Yeah. I but like from what I'm hearing right now, it sounds like Gregorius T, he's a big asshole. Yeah, I mean, of course these are just people making mods, like they're not like celebrities or anything. So people have complex, but it is very petty, especially like having him blacklist everything. That's just dumb. Like yeah. I, I think there wasn't a conflict for it, so you had to just manually fix it. But, I mean, they fixed it eventually because it remained for over a year. And like I said, this was back in 2013, but you got the, the last couple. Start at message. Um, the fourth and final conflict between Gregor's team and MDIO came as a result of an erroneous bug report. <laughs> MDIO received a report of an erroneous crafting recipe for a TIC block involving glass and IC2 scrap. Uh, this was a legitimate bug. I remember IC2 scrap. That was great. Uh, though at the time of discovery, it had been fixed. The user reporting the bug was using an outdated version of GregTech. In response to the report, MDIO took it upon himself to, when GregTech and Tinkers were present together, again, create a large message when a client finished loading it and reached the Minecraft main menu, warning them of the dangers of GregTech. <laughs> the message was subsequently reworded several times, as the initial, initial version was little more than blatantly offensive. And after a few days, scrapped entirely, as more of the community decided that was kind of, kind of rude. The message is not on the wiki page, though, and that makes me sad inside. I'll see if I can find it, but it's great. Because it's like ancient. So, after math, MDIO resigned as the lead developer of Tinkers in 2014, handing it to Bunny, who I think made extra bees, I want to say. And has not been involved in Tinkers since late that year. So, modern versions of Tinkers do not mention Greg Tech or Greg in their code bases. And, yes, like, I think he's still like on the project pages but as like a former author. Maybe the project owner. He just doesn't work on it. And so, in response to the drama, Mind Factory Reloaded re-registered every item as Greg and Greg, do please kindly stuff a sock in it. Which, I remember that. It was super annoying. I was like, why is this here causing console spamming? In the later versions, however, only leather boots have that tag. Yeah, have that as an order train tag. Great. And so, there's actually a link to this Mind Factory registering. So, you go, mod compatibility. Greg Tech 5 on the MFR page. And so it's got, it just mentions that same thing. So currently, MMR can be, uh, uh, MFR is a level 2 compatibility with Greg Tech. And I don't know what that means, but I'll have to check. But yeah, and so the aftermath is that. And then Feed the Beast Unhinged, released in mid 2013 for Minecraft 152, was the last Feed the Beast pack to include Greg Tech until Resurrection, which was released in late 2014 for Minecraft 1710. I feel ancient because that's the version I played a lot. And the drama likely had a role in the Feed the Beast team's choice to not include Greg Tech in many of their mod packs, as well as Gregor's T's decision to move the mod in, in a total conversion direction. So as a result, although Greg Tech continues to have a cult following among its fans, I'm going to say insane fans because that mod has cancerous progression, its community remains somewhat insular from the mainstream modded community. <laughs> Great, I, I just love how this is a page. I, I mean, I there's other pages like this because this is a very fun read. And there's even an info box. They've got a whole info box going over it. It's great. But yeah, that's kind of the it of it. And uh, well, it's kind of like all of it. And I think it's really funny because yeah. it's 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 a great like five paragraph read on the Feed the Beach Wiki. And this is on the official Feed the Beach Wiki. So it's great. It makes it even better. You know, like go feedthebeach.fandom.com. Yeah. I'll leave like a, pay, a link in the description. It's great. But I encourage everyone to read this to themselves because I did just read it all. But it's more fun to see on the wiki page. And uh I don't know, just seeing conflict like this, especially in mod devs, is really funny. But yeah, like, I'm gonna check out those other pages that I linked, but it's great. And there's even a bunch of references to industrial craft forms and, like, the Slime Knights, GitHub, uh, Java code and whatnot. It's great, and I just love it. But yeah, I, that's the end of the video, though. I hope you enjoyed it. It's cool.